Hello everybody, welcome. This is Designs by RC. And today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on this Bryce Young jersey swap. And yeah, let's get straight to it. So the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is get your image, your player image. I would use Getty Images. It's the most common one to use, the, the one where you can get the best images, I guess. Just, just on Google to search up Getty images and then there's a lot of high quality good res images here you can use for your swaps so to remove the the watermark for the giddy images what i what i do is i first i save the image you save the image first and then you get this link so okay let's do for example um i guess we can do this for example for just an example what you do is get it you save image to downloads you go here get the images up to the search bar you copy the link and then you go on get paid stock.com search that up and then you're gonna want to put your link right here where it says example click paste and search photo And you would hit download generated photo and then you would save your image you would save your image to downloads so yeah i already have my images so okay so you just move your image to you put the one that has no watermark on it this one's a little low this is lower quality but it shouldn't really affect it that much and then you go ahead and uh, click uh, clipping mask on here. You invert your mask by pressing Command I. Go on your brush, and then you just remove it like that. And then what's on here? And then you, what well, all you do is just. What I do is I just merge it down, and then. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for that one. To just remove your your watermark. What I do next here is to cut out your player. You either select the subject. You can you can click here select subject, or you can use a pen tool and cut it out properly so it comes out really good. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes when you select the subject it doesn't get these little marks like this it doesn't cut out it doesn't cut it right it doesn't cut it out right so i do suggest using the pen tool most of the times uh yeah but since i already had it cut out over here on the on the final psd i'm gonna go ahead and just grab it from here Place your player in the dead center. There you have your player here. What I like to do first of all, I like to go from the top to the bottom of the of the whole swap. So I start off with the with the helmet, the face mask, and then I go to the jersey, and then to the pants and the football if it needs any tuning. So okay, we're not gonna use this thing anymore. Let me go get rid of it. I have my 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 helmet right here. Use a pencil, go around and just mask it all out. Okay, now once you're done, you hit, you right click, you click uh, make selection and then you press command J to just mask out the helmet. Um, for the helmet also, what you need a, well, I regularly use Getty Images. It has the best ones and Try to find the right angle. I see a lot of people, they also don't use the right helmet sometimes. And that makes it, you need to use the right helmet because you know, it makes the the swap look more realistic and it makes it have like better quality in my opinion. And it just makes it way better. Okay, now to, to apply your helmet onto the player, what you want to do is go up top, click edit, Go to transform and warp. 
and then you're gonna click these little buttons and make it go up or down or however you want it and you're just gonna want to warp it in as the helmet goes Work with them as best as possible. Try to align also the the face masks and the this little like plate right here in the front, and also the lines on the helmet too. Yeah, try to do your best to align it, align it to the helmet. Um, as you can see right here, you need to try to align it with this top bar and these two bars and this bar right here too. And you can you can really do whatever you want with it. You can warp it in a lot of ways, a lot of different ways you can do. Let's try to make try to make it fit as best as possible here. Align it well and right on, almost done. Almost, almost done here. Okay, now, so you can see it's aligned. It's really well aligned. Now, for the next step, what I do is I go onto the face mask. So I click P on your on your keyboard to bring up the pencil, hide the, the helmet, and then go ahead and mask out your face mask to mask out your face mask what I first do is just go around it all go around the whole whole thing mask it all out and then I'll show you guys after I do that okay now after you you go around it all you, you right click press make selection and then Command J to mask it out. And now I regularly hide it so I can actually see it when it deletes it. So what I do is I go in and cut out each little square that it has. So this is a little square right here that has this part right here where you can see a skin or a part of the helmet. We just need it. We just need the face mask. So. We don't need the face or chin strap or anything else. So go around through all of these, all of these little squares. Go in. Uh, I'll go through this one just so y'all can see this little example. Hit the edge of that face mask with the pencil. And right click and then make selection. Some people add to a selection and then just select them all and then just do it delete them all at the same time but what i do is i make first make a selection press ok and then i press delete and as you can see uh that part of the face mask is gone so yeah you're gonna want to do that for all of the little squares all the parts where there's where you can see there's no face mask Okay, that's the little that's the last little part so if there's um, any like little marks like right here you can just go in with your eraser tool with hardness all the way up and flow all the way up go in and just delete those parts and yeah that's, and that's really it yeah this is probably like the most tedious process like the process that takes the most is cutting out like like every little thing that a digital shop needs so okay now, now that you have it masked out you're gonna want it um click down here where it's the half circle click on that go here to gradient map place the gradient map as you can see makes it black and you're gonna want to go here uh on this on this one the far left square you would regularly go with like a like the darkest color you're gonna use so let's let's say you're doing a 
a red face mask you would hit like a really 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 dark red so right here you would hit like a red like this color and then the middle one is the true color of the face mask so let's say you have a really red face mask you go there and on the one on the far right you would click a color closest to white so somewhere like right here you know see it gives it like that uh it gives it like a gloss to it, it gives it like a gloss to it, but we're not using red so we're not going to use red right now i'm going to go to a uh, black this is going to be a bit more of a gray and here we're going to go uh white white for the little all little ones and move the middle slider this is the one you're going to move the most same thing with these right here i see some people that do swaps that add points in between both of these but for me personally they're not as helpful like i don't really need them i just i just need these three and you can make it work just with these pretty well as you can see that fits it uh pretty decently uh, maybe move it over a little bit more, a little less. You can probably we move these little like diamond ones. It also makes it if you move this one it makes it darker, which we're gonna do. yeah we're gonna make it a little darker. And move this one over just a little more, and that should be good. So we're not quite done with the helmet just yet. You, as you can see, there's uh, some imperfections right here where this doesn't line up perfectly. So go back with the warp with the warp tool and warp it in uh, just like that uh -huh. and that should work and then right there that face mask yeah I think that that should be good right there there's also this little these little red marks um what I really want to do is so you don't do too 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 much is I uh, go here to the half circle again you go black and white and then you hit you hit command to oh no option to clip it onto the player and then hit command I to invert the mask go in here with the with your brush at a smaller size I guess and then what you can do is just paint right here and paint these little red sparks these little red, red marks this is like little little red marks so it doesn't really matter too too much how how good is it because it's not very noticeable you can move these little sliders to make it lighter i'll put it on right there and let's do about right there and also here with the helmet I just realized that the chin strap doesn't match right. So we're gonna go back with the warp tool and go here and that. I think that uh, that should do it. That should do it. That should do the trick. So we're gonna go back to this to the black and white layer. Click B for your brush, and then I like going in and painting in the face mask, just so it makes it look cleaner. So it's not like all red or like yellow, I guess. As you can see, makes it look a little lot makes it look better in my opinion. Going with the going with your brush and just brush it in, just little white spots. We're gonna take those off and just we're gonna take that part off in just a little bit. All this painted in. Yeah, it's painted all in. Uh, you can hit X instead of instead of having to go over. Okay, yeah. So uh, on the brush, on a on a clipping mask, white reveals, so white paints on and black hides. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and click. Uh, as you can see down here, when you click X, it moves it over. So it moves it over, and now it's re now it's erasing. You can see now it erases. You click X again on the white one, it shows. And we're gonna go and delete those parts down here. 
Okay, now, as you can see, the helmet is uh, all... It's pretty much finished. The whole helmet part of the of the swap is finished. It's, yeah, it looks, looks pretty, pretty good right here. Has a little gloss tone to it and, it, and it makes it look good. Okay, so the, the next part of the swap would be masking out the jersey. Um, what you can do is go here to this little square, to the object selection tool. And then right click and go to quick selection. You can then go here and then on this on this plus up here, you can mask out you can mask out the jersey that way, or you can go with the pen tool and just do it all, uh, make it all like perfect, you know. So, so yeah, what I do is make it perfect <laughs> and going with the pen tool, and we're gonna go ahead and mask out the whole jersey. This little part here and this all here and yeah okay now that you got that you have messed uh, this part out you click you right click go again make selection and press ok for this one, I'm going to go command J and mask it out. We're going to go ahead and mask out this part also, and then we'll hit command J. For the parts that aren't like next to other. So for here, for the, for this part of the jersey that's next to the arm, you do need to go like right on it, like press right on the jersey. But for over here, since there's like no other part like this, it's just by itself. You can just uh, use your pencil and just go like that. So you have to go in through all of this, and then you hit make selection, and then don't click OK. Click add to selection, and then press OK. And then now you go ahead and click Command J, and go fit on screen here. And as you can see, you have your jersey masked up. All right, so. The next step for this, for the swap, is you're gonna want to go to, um, okay, yeah, yeah you're gonna want to go and click up here on the lost lasso tool or the magnetic, the polygon, polygon lasso tool, and then you go around all these little like the patches and the jersey number in a little bit. Uh, go around them all um, Just like this just watch Go around the whole thing And then after you have it selected you're gonna want to hit edit Fill and then on the drop down arrow click content aware fill uh, You can keep it all like it is default and then press ok as you can see, it get rid it gets rid of it pretty, pretty pretty well. You don't have to worry about that. You want to do that for uh, all the little assets that you don't want on the jersey. You're gonna want just a clean canvas on the jersey. You're not gonna want any like little the Nike logos or if it has any uh, jersey numbers or like any stripes or anything. You're gonna want to get rid of those too. With the same. Uh, Lasso tool. Okay, now that you have those little assets um, taken out of the swap, out of the jersey, you're gonna want to go ahead and go onto the number. The number is, it's not, it's, it's the same thing, but sometimes uh, the content aware field messes it up. Especially if there's two numbers, it it could mess it up and and have uh, like little bits of it still there. It doesn't completely get rid of it sometimes. So what I regularly do, I don't go just all around it. I go if it has little crevices, uh, just like this. If it has like little crevices right here, like this part of the nine, I go through it just like that. Just so it recognizes it and it gives it a good, uh, you can get rid of it pretty easily. So you just go around the whole number the lasso tool again all around it all around it all around it so 
here. Once again, hit edit, fill, content aware fill, click OK. And as you can see, it got rid of it pretty well. It has these little spots right here, but uh, they won't really matter after that. Yeah, it won't really matter. So, yeah. Put it on screen, and you can hit select, deselect to get rid of those lines. And as you can see, there's a clean canvas on here. Okay, uh, I actually forgot about this. Get rid of this real quick. Let's get rid of this part. Okay, so if if this part of the number still there, like visible on the jersey, what you could do is hit uh, go to your toolbar. Go here on the clone stamp tool, and you're gonna want to go over the little parts that it's that it didn't get rid of really well. So for that, you hit option and then hit like any part of the jersey that you want to use. Click on that, and then you can go over it, and it goes over it pretty pretty well. Hit over here, so this is a little darker, and here. Right here too, with a uh, with NFL logo will go. I'll go a little smaller. Uh, oh, yep. Go a little smaller. You get this part right here, and then just make it all that mesh type of texture, so it looks good. You can now you have your jersey masked out. What you're gonna want to go ahead and do is. Go to the half circle, click on this one that says black and white, clip it onto the jersey by hitting an option and then uh, left clicking on the little line in the middle. And you can go really dark, really light, but I like to keep it in the uh, kind of like in the middle just so it gives it, it, it helps out a lot more when you use a gradient map. So go, go ahead and click the half circle again. Uh, you hit gradient map option again option and clip it onto the jersey and then you're gonna want to do the same thing here as you did with the with the face mask so on the far left side you hit uh, the darkest color you're gonna, of the jersey you're gonna do in the middle you hit uh, uh, somewhere in between the middle Maybe a little darker since it's going to be a black jersey. And I would keep uh, this one on the far right uh, white pretty much all the time. So, yeah. As you can see, that did a pretty decent job. There's still some red spots right here. But we're going to go over them after we're done with the whole swap. We're going to uh, fix up all these little red spots it still has. As you can see there. That looks pretty good to me. Click OK. Front screen so you can see it all right. And then <clears throat> we're gonna want to get our assets. So we're gonna want to get our 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 stripes, our Nike logos, our shoulder numbers, and if it has any logos on the on the shoulder, you can get that too. Uh, go to, also again go to Getty images okay so we're gonna want to go and get our what are the images that you're gonna use for your stripes for your uh, shoulder numbers I'm gonna use the same one I did it for the helmets we're gonna do I'm gonna do the Panthers logo the Nike logo and that uh, left shoulder stripe or right shoulder stripe I guess I'm gonna go back to layer zero. The first layer, go, to, go with your pencil. I'm gonna mask out both uh, the Panthers logo, Nike logo, and the shoulder, shoulder stripe. So yeah.
Click OK. Command J to mask it out. And as I said before, you could also use the object selection tool or you can uh, right click on it and use the, no, you can either use the quick selection tool or the object selection tool. For this, for the, for the Nike logo and the stripe, I'm gonna use the object selection tool so that y'all can see how that one works too. So you uh, left click, drag, and go where the, where the Nike logo is at. Okay, go again. Left click, drag where the Nike logo is at, and it it makes a pretty good selection of it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tweak it at all because that looks good to me. Hit Command J. Go back to the object selection tool. Click up from the top, drag, and there. Oh my God. go to select and mask and as you can see did a pretty good job of masking it out left a little red a little black part up here click on this the plus sign uh, adds to the selection and the minus sign just takes out parts that you don't need from the selection so you click OK click command J again okay now that you have it now that you have it matched out, we're gonna go ahead and grab it, put it on to our jersey, click it there. We're not gonna just just yet. We're first going to get our other parts also. So Nike logo, you can now we're gonna zoom in. <clears throat> and we're first going to we're gonna hide these first. I'm gonna hide those first and then we're gonna do this one first. Do the stripe first. So for the stripe, you're gonna wanna align it with the stitching that you see right here. You see the stitching that it has right here? You're gonna wanna align it right next to it. Not like on it, but like right next to it. You align it right next to it. So you hit transform, you go edit, transform, warp. You click here, go down. I do is I go and have it right under where the jersey's at hit option clip it onto it and as you can see it it clips onto the jersey so it's not like any of it hanging out and I see right here it's not the best right here so I'm gonna go ahead and move it I'm gonna go here and go here There, that should be good. And you can see it's uh, a lot, lot brighter than I need it. So we're gonna go in a little bit and use some uh, uh, exposure and darken up this little part down here. I'm gonna want to bring these back. Put it uh, around there. That sh that looks pretty good to me. You will need warp tool for that one, but for this one, you most likely will. I'll make it, this one a little smaller. Line it right under the the Nike logo. Hit Edit, Transform, Warp, and then warp it onto the jersey so that it looks like it's on there. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty pretty decent. Okay, there you go. And uh, that's that's that one done. Pretty much it's done. But we still need to do that exposure that I said. So. I'm gonna unclip it, hit the half circle, go exposure, uh, clip it onto the stripe with option, and then we're gonna go exposure. As you can see, move it over, and it makes it darker. We're gonna want it at like two, I think, 250 around there. We're gonna hit Command I to invert the mask, brush. And then for this for this one we will use uh, a softer brush so we're gonna go ahead and go to flow put it down to like 14 bring the size up a little bit and bring the hardness down all the way down hit x so that it uh shows and go ahead with the brush and brush this part in brush it in pretty uh brush it in as best as you can whatever you think looks good uh yeah 
a little bigger and put a little bit on it. That looks, I actually removed some of it. But that right there looks good to me. So, yeah, that looks good. I won't probably need to tweak it. Maybe, maybe a little darker. Maybe a little, yeah, that's good. So, right click. Go ahead and merge it down. Hit option. Clip it onto the a jersey once again. And these we can leave unclipped for now. And we're gonna go ahead and go and get the other stripe for the for that left shoulder. Go ahead and uh, move it over. Wait. Oh, never mind. So we're gonna want to rotate it a little bit. Also, again, as you can see right here, there's this, the stitching. Align it right next to the stitching as best as you can. Warp it. I'm going to warp it in. So we'll clip it onto the jersey. And for this one, we will need exposure because the light's going to be hitting from this part of the of the jersey. So I think that lighting right there is good to me. And uh, next part, we're going to go ahead and do the um, shoulder numbers, shoulder numbers. So put it in here. I'll make sure it's on the, okay, yeah. Zoom into it. Um, I have to warp it in so it makes it a little skinnier over here. I have to yeah, warp this one to make it a little skinnier. So that it gives uh gives the number some space. Okay, that should be good. Uh rotate it a little bit, make it for the for the Panthers they have like really really small uh shoulder numbers, so it shouldn't really matter too much. As you can let's see. I think that right there should be good. We just need to do some warping. Go edit, transform. First, gonna hit perspective. Go on this top one and then drag it uh, to like your left. A little bit, not too much. I think that's good right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the transform warp. Flip it down so it looks like it's flat on the jersey. Put these things up. <clears throat> and uh, let me see. I think it needs to be bigger, but I can't. Yeah, just just a tiny bit bigger. We're gonna make it a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Cause we also have gotta leave a uh, space for the color that we're gonna do in just a little bit. We'll just move it layer down. Clip it to the jersey. And then, yeah, I think right there that looks good. Go ahead and click Command J on that layer of the of the shoulder number. Go Command J. It makes it duplicate. And to rotate it so where it looks like it's supposed to go on that side, what I do is I go Edit, Transform, go all the way to the bottom. You're gonna flip horizontally first, and then you're gonna go ahead Edit again, Transform, and then flip vertical. And that looks pretty good right there. We just need to use some perspective and some warp to make it look better. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that top right one again. Drag to your left. That looks good. Put it in place. A tiny bit bigger. 
put in place around right there. Clip it onto the jersey. And then I'll hit transform, warp. Yeah, shoulder numbers are not that hard to do, but people remember to do them a lot. And doing shoulder numbers makes the swap just look more realistic. Every, every single little thing makes it look real, more realistic as it goes. So that, I think that should be good right there. Ah, uh, no, let me get just a tiny bit bigger. Tiny, tiny bit bigger. Go there, make it bigger. Okay. I think, uh, I think that right there should be good. Yeah, that should be good. For the next part of this, we are going to do the collar. We're gonna do the collar, the blue collar that the Panthers use. So go back to your original player, this part down here. For this one, we we're gonna use a pencil. Go press P on your keyboard, bring up your pencil. And then we're going to mask out the collar but I'm gonna go ahead and hide this so that I can see it right so try to click where the stitching is at uh, right click make selection click OK command J and then go here move move tool and then bring it, uh, let's bring it all the way, oh uh, no. Let's bring it right under that, under that face mask. And it unclipped it, so we're gonna have to go back and clip all this. Okay, that's good. on screen as you can see that's that's the color and some of y'all might notice that the thing magically appeared it's because I used the wrong uh, cutout of the jersey so I just brought in the jersey that I use over here so we're gonna go ahead and do this thing again just right here and we're gonna bring up uh, I think we'll bring up this one right here bring up this picture Get this picture and put it onto your main project. Put it all the way to the bottom, all the way at the very back, just so you can uh, match the colors, right? So go ahead, and click the hat, click the half circle. Go to gradient map, clip it onto that collar, and we're gonna go here. Darkest color we're gonna use probably gonna be some. Okay, no. To be able to use your eyedropper tool and pick out the colors in the background, you're gonna have to get out of that mask and go on just to the gradient map. So double click that, or up here actually. Here, this one. I wanna go with the darkest color. If that one doesn't look dark enough, I'll probably go around here or so. That middle one, it's gonna be that bright one. This is gonna be just that white. I'm gonna go white with that. I'm gonna click OK for now so I can zoom in and I can see it properly. You're gonna to wanna to match it to the colors that are here on the stripes. So we're gonna to have to go a little brighter. Oh. Move the slider over. And if you move it all the way down here, you can't see the dark parts. If you move it all the way up here, the dark parts are a lot more visible. So put it uh, somewhere towards the middle. Show it on screen. As you can see, that's the color done. We are pretty much around like 50% done with the jersey swap. 
so that's good we won't need this one in the background anymore so you can go ahead and click delete and we're gonna go ahead and go in and add now the jersey number and for the number I think that size looks good to me um, I have to be a little bigger What we're first gonna do is gonna want to match it to these colors up here. So it's gonna be a bit of a more turquoise. So we're gonna hit image adjustments, color and saturation, and hit this hue part and try to match it as best as possible. I think that right there looks good. So here we're gonna edit, transform, perspective. Go on this this uh, top right one, and then drag it drag your mouse down a little bit don't do don't do too much because not it goes like this so drag it down a little bit just a little bit click up here again i have to be just a tiny bit bigger here but yeah i think that was good that right there looks pretty good and as we also did with the chin strap, we're gonna do it with the number. So go and hit uh, black and white uh, option. Clip it onto the thing. We're not gonna we're not gonna invert the mask. We're just gonna press B for the brush. Get the, get a hard brush again. Hardness all the way up top. Slow all the way up. And just we're gonna. Yeah, make sure you're on the black, on that black color, and then go around it just to bring, bring back, bring back those blue spots in the number. Click on that again. Click on the half circle again. We're gonna go exposure now. We're gonna add in the, add in those uh, those creases that it has. So for example, right there has a couple right here but I think I'm gonna warp this part doesn't like warp this part right here. Oh never mind. I'm gonna just merge it down because we're not gonna use this thing anymore. So merge down and then hit again warp. good okay now we're gonna go back in clip the exposure layer onto the number go down again to around we're gonna do around uh 290 around 300 or not 300 two negative two or negative we're gonna go around there negative two or negative three uh we're gonna hit command i with the brush flow uh on to like put your flow to like 20 Hardness all the way down, and the size. Uh, I think this size should be all right. So, painting first. What I do first is I just paint in where the where the first creases are at. So, for example, here, I'll just paint those in just like that. We're gonna fix it in just a little bit, so don't worry, don't worry. So, there's uh, right here. there and then uh, let me just warp this part up here it's over yeah, fold there we go go back with the brush and then uh make it a little bigger here around 60 or so and brush this part here because the fold's right there so it's going to be significantly darker than the, the rest of that number That's good, okay. Now bring the size back down to around 20. And then click X. And now we're gonna erase some of it. We're gonna, we're gonna blend it all out. We're gonna blend that out. We're gonna blend that out. I think, uh, I think that right there is good. Fit on 
screen so you can see. Yeah, that's, that's good. We're going to want to fe feather this thing out. Feather, it makes uh, it makes it look smoother. It, ma it makes uh, everything look smoother. So we're going to feather it to around, I think, right there. Around six. Around six, that looks good. What I'm noticing is that it's still a bit too small. The number's a bit too small, so... We're not gonna mess. We're not gonna uh, resize the exposure. We're just gonna resize the number, since the creatures are gonna be there either way. Okay, resize the number, and then maybe rotate just a tiny bit. If you're on screen, uh, move it over just a little bit. And I think that that's the number done right there. That's that there. That's done. And now uh, the next part is gonna be the pants, the pants, the, the pants stripe, and the NFL logo to finish off the swap. Okay, so that's gonna be the end. That's gonna be the, the finished jersey swap. Um, we still have to do the background though, so let's go ahead and do the background. Uh, sometimes I do do is so do select subject, click select subject, and then constant aware fill but it doesn't work very well with the content where it feels so I'm going with the lasso tool and then just go around them it doesn't have to be really like perfect so this could be pretty fast Okay, so now you're done with that. It makes a selection. Hit edit, fill, content will fill, and then let it do its magic. It should take a little longer because we've taken out a player, but as you can see, it does an amazing job of doing that, of taking them out. That part's a little messed up, but you're not gonna be able to see it because it's gonna be behind the player. So bring it up here. Second one, go here. something make it a little bigger since he's not on like on the ground on the ground so um i think that there that there looks good yep that there looks pretty good to me and for one of the final steps is we're gonna go in and clean up those little red marks that we left. So go ahead and create a new layer on this plus step down here. Pressure harness all the way down, flow to around 25 or so. This size is gonna be a lot smaller though because it's, it's gonna be little, little, little marks. So, okay. So now you see these little marks. Hit I on your on your um, keyboard, and then click 
one of the colors that's right next to it and you can just paint over that See if you don't see any of the marks, that's good. Now for the final step, the step that makes the swap look even better than it already sh already should be, is uh, create another layer on that plus sign. Uh, we're gonna go to image, apply image, and what this does is it just grabs that everything that was on that project and it just puts it into one image. So you have just this single image of everything there. So we're gonna go to. Uh, filter we're gonna go to camera raw filter and something that people don't do a lot that I've seen is that you could go up here and go to color go to browse and there's like little filters that you can use but the best ones are in modern in my opinion the best ones are in modern so I'll go through all of these Look at uh, whichever one looks the best to you. Um, I don't remember which one I used. Okay, so I did use actually I did use Modern Ten for this up. Click that there. Click on that arrow back here. Go back. Basic, and then here. It's this is all up to preference, really. Um, it's every little slider just up to your preference, whatever looks best to you. Okay, move the sliders, the contrast. Uh, we're gonna bring it up just a tiny bit. Highlights, move it down a little bit. Bring up the shadows a tiny bit. The whites, put them down a little bit. Blacks up a little bit texture 219 and clarity to around 20 that that right there looks good detail sharpening uh, we won't use too much sharpening because it does too much sometimes so we're gonna go around 20 and then bring up the noise reduction to around 10 and then go to color mixer and if you want to mess around with the skin tones skin tones are either yellow or orange most of the time but for this one it's going to be orange so we're going to make the skin tone just a tiny bit more red these yellows I'm, i want to mess with them too much the blues go right there and that right there that is it as you can see the difference so this is the before and this is the after it makes the swap look so much better than it already is and yep that should be it guys thank you guys for watching make sure you drop a like subscribe if you have any questions let me know in the comments what you need help with and I can help you out as best as possible and yeah should be it um, subscribe I should be coming out with more videos pretty soon uh, I will let y'all know. Go down, go down the link in the description. Follow me on my on my Instagram. That's where I post a lot of my jersey swaps and a lot of the designs I do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day.